my channel. Thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me that we're spending this time together. Today I have another haul. It's been a little bit of a minute since I last filmed one. I'm super stoked. So this is a collective haul. There's a lot of different aesthetics that you will see me channeling and this thing that I'm wearing right now is actually thrifted. I got it when I was in upstate New York and it is so rad. It's like a little painter's vest and I added this little four-leaf clover pin that I got at eForest at the trading post and I feel like it's my little Girl Scout vest. It has this huge pocket in the back where you can put paints or a journal, a sketchbook, and it has all these little pockets where you can put paintbrushes. It feels like so New York. I can't wait to have all my different colored pencils and my favorite writing utensils for when I write poetry. But let's just get into it. I'm going to start with what I got when I was in upstate New York, which I've been loving so much. I've been going like once a month because I'm a nature girl. I need to be surrounded by the trees. And living in New York is beautiful and amazing and inspiring, but I have to feel the earth a little bit more. So I went upstate a few weeks ago and I got these bad boys. These I wore hiking. We went on a crazy, ridiculous hike. Totally off the path. Totally... Oh, just inhaling so much good ass prana and being so supercharged by that and I swear I just felt so high I got to the top of this mountain. We were climbing up this mountain. It was kind of scary And we were like rock climbing during parts of it But anyways, I wore these boots. It was raining and um, these were awesome These were a dollar fifty that I got at this little church flea market thing We stayed at this woman's house at an Airbnb and she was just telling us all the little spots So we went there. I got these for a dollar fifty. I got this cup for fifty cents I really like the print. I really like cute cups and mugs. So yes, I can't wait to drink out of this and then I got these earrings for a dollar. These remind me of beautiful vintage gold earrings that I've been looking for. I'm just excited to wear these with some cute trousers and a blazer and some kitten heels. The next thing that I got I wore in my Kundalini video, which I will also have linked down below. I love this so much. This I got at another little small town. We were driving through the mountains, man, and so we passed a lot of different towns. I forget what this one was called, but every single town had really cool thrift shops, and I got this there. It's beautiful, and the sleeves are so perfectly billowy, and the material is so nice, and it was handmade. Like, this is just a precious item that I will keep in my wardrobe forever. Yes, this was definitely something that made the cut. It's so cute. I can just picture myself wearing this into my 30s, into my 50s. Like, this is going to be a timeless piece, for me at least, because I love flowy, comfortable things. And this looks really cute with no bra on and just the nipples showing. It's it's really cute and sexy. Next, I found this grandma's nightgown thing from... Um, I think some thrift store in New York, I forget what it was called, I just kind of stumbled upon it, but I really love the color of it. It's like this beautiful yellow waffle pattern, and it has just a really nice light material that I'm obsessed with, man. The buttons go all the way down, I'm probably going to wear this unbuttoned so it can flow, and I'll wear this when I'm in Bali, once I get out of the pool with my straw hat, I think it'll be such a cute look, and it has these really big awesome pockets. I just love this. Oh, it's so light and flowy and I've just been really into that lately. I've been going to Beacon's Closet a little bit more lately. I've been having some good luck there. And I found this awesome IMGA label tracksuit, sweatsuit thing. And it has the IMGA print down the sides, print on the leg. And then it also has a matching hoodie! It's so cute, it's a cropped hoodie. Both of these things are so fluffy and soft inside. I love that it has this on the sleeve. And then there's also this Gia label on the hoodie. And I just feel like they put so much little detail into everything and it's such good quality. And yeah, I just love this matching set. It's not a color that I would normally gravitate towards, but this was literally $20, so I couldn't pass it up. It was $20 for both. Mm -hmm. And I had this one gray hoodie. It was like a Hanes hoodie that I stole from my ex-boyfriend that I would wear all the time. And it disappeared. So I was like, I really need a comfy hoodie to just throw over every single morning when I wake up. And this has been it. And it's been so, so nice. I love it. The next thing I got from Beacons is a completely different vibe, as you can see. This reminds me of American Horror Story, the coven season. It's so amazing. This is my witchy nightgown that I'm going to be casting spells in. I could totally see myself 
prancing around the forest in this. It has this beautiful puffy bottom and so much fabric. It has a lot of fabric, but it's still really light and flowy and oh my goodness, it's magical, man. This reminds me of what I envisioned when I think about my commitment ceremony. I really want to get married in the forest and not even married. I just want to share and express my love and commitment to someone without doing the whole documentation, holy church Bible thing because I don't identify with that religion, and I just don't really think marriage is right for me, but I think it would be beautiful to just have a commitment or love ceremony in front of all of my friends and family who I love so much, and I want to be barefoot wearing a white dress, and then I want everyone to go jump in a river afterwards and swim together. That's my vision for my wedding, if you want to call it that, but I always pictured myself wearing a dress like this that's like super flowy and magical and for it to just be hanging and getting dirty on the ground with my bare feet. I really like it. I feel like the boobs fit a little bit weird so I might have to do something about that but really it's gorgeous. I don't know man. It's really amazing. Beacon's Closet in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. And then I also got this little arm cuff which I really like. Can you see it? This was like $8 or $6. But next, I got these beautiful flowy pants in the mail from my P.O. Box from one of you. Thank you so, so much. I'll have my P.O. Box linked down below. And I'm obsessed with these. And they're high-waisted, and I just really, really like the way that they look. I wore these to dinner in the Lower East Side a few days ago, and I just felt so trendy, and I was like, wow, I fit in. This is really interesting to feel this way. But yeah, I just felt very glam and chic, and I don't have anything this color, so that was really, really fun. And I wore it with this top, this bodysuit thing that my sister gave to me. Thank you, Maria. Bag that she didn't want anymore, and this is really cute. This is by the brand Like Dreams. These have been super trendy, and I love how big the zippers are in this bad boy. Like, it's a really nice style. I really, really like it. It's very convenient, and this bag has been so amazing. I fit my portable charger in here. I fit some snacks in here, some oatmeal, my wallet, my Metro card, just everything fits so nicely in here. Then she got me these glasses, or she gave these to me, by Retro Super Future, which is a designer sunglass label. Um... And I really like them. How do you guys feel about these? This next thing is a blazer, which I really, really am into. This my partner found for me when we were at an art gallery thing. It was a very long night. I was skateboarding around. I got my cards read. I was dancing in front of this cool projector. But basically, I came to acquire this, and it was beautiful. Next, I went to Jersey to visit my friend, and I, of course, went thrifting. I got a freaking bonnet, you guys. I think it's so, so cute. I love it, you guys. I'm going to have like an animal sanctuary when I move to upstate New York. Here's my plan. Let me just tell you guys all my visions. I'm going to have a house in upstate New York and I'm going to have an apartment, a loft in New York City so that I can get both of the places that I love so much. But I'm definitely going to have some animals in my home upstate and I totally see myself wearing this when I play with them and say hello. Probably gonna have a llama and some other beautiful horses and I just want it to be like a sanctuary where animals who are going to get slaughtered can come and just live happily. This just reminded me of that and I'm a sucker for buying pieces that touch me in that way and I, I mean it can be really good and beautiful but I feel like it's also bad because I just acquire things that aren't practical like a bonnet but I think I'll just wear this around New York because why not and this could be a really cute Halloween costume I just thought about that I could be Mary from that childhood rhyme Mary had a little lamb next I got this really cute jacket and I think this was $15 yes <laughs> So this has some faux fur going on. I love the plaid so, so much. This reminds me of old school Ralph Lauren or something like that. And the pockets are really sick. And I just love the colors. Basically, these are like perfect fall colors and they go with a lot of the earth tones that I have in my wardrobe for fall. The brand is Young Rebels. Woo! Next, I have this scarf that my friend gave me because it says silver lining. These aren't colors that I would typically wear, but I'm excited to try and style this. 
I think I could wear this with an all white outfit or just a fun, playful outfit with some sneakers, sporty, athleisure kind of look. And I'm excited. And this is really warm. I'm not sure where she got it, but yeah, it was a gift. Next, I got this book. I'm sure all of you know of it, Alice in Wonderland. This I got on the street in my neighborhood. And I just love the way that this book looks, the hardcover. This is one of my favorite, favorite books and movies growing up. I used to have it on a little VCR tape and me and my mother just loved it so much. And film really, really can shape your childhood. I didn't even have TV, but I had a certain select few movies on little DVR tapes and I remember all of them and I just have inside jokes with my mom pertaining to all those. I just, this is like my childhood and I've been reading it with my partner every night. It's super cute. This is kind of hard to read though because Alice in Wonderland goes on so many tangents and she's like kind of manic. Well, thought Alice to herself, after such a fall like this I shall think nothing of tumbling downstairs. How brave they'll all think me at home. Why, well, I wouldn't say a thing about it. Not even if I fell off the top of the house, which was very likely true. Down, 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 would the fall never come to an end? I wonder how many miles I've fallen by this time, she said aloud. I must be getting somewhere near the center of the earth. Let me see, that would be 4,000 miles down, I think. For you see, Alice had learned several things of this sort in her lessons in the schoolroom. And though this was not a very good opportunity for showing off her knowledge, as there was no one to listen to her, it was still good to practice to say it over. Yes, that's about the right distance, but then I wonder what latitude or longitude I've got to. Alice had not the slightest idea what latitude or longitude was, but she thought they were grand, nice words to say. Presently, she began again. I wonder if I shall fall right through the earth. How funny it'll seem to come among people that walk with their head downwards. The antipathies, I think. But I shall have to ask them what the name of their country is, you know. Please, ma'am, is this New Zealand or Australia? Do you think you could manage it? What an ignorant little girl she'll thank me for asking. No, I'll never do to ask. Perhaps I shall see it written up somewhere. Down, 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 there was nothing else to do, so Alice soon began talking again. And yeah, so I just get really into this book and I love it. Next, I went to this vintage show. I think it's called the Manhattan Vintage Show. It happens one to three times a year. I'm not sure, but I got this amazing bomber jacket, silk on the inside and the sleeves too. And then the outside has these crystals and beautiful jewels on the back. And yeah, it like really, really glistens and glimmers. And oh my goodness, I love this so much. It reminds me of like some disco funky 80s bomber jacket, but it's also very glam. It's also kind of Chanel inspired. And once again, this is a piece that I am going to hold on to forever. I love it. And I just don't think I own anything this glam, you know? And it feels good to say that. Whoever wore this before me definitely rocked it to some really cool places. And I'm just so proud to be the owner of it. Thank you so much. Except everything there at that vintage show was so, so expensive. That's probably the cheapest thing I found. It was on the pricey side. And yeah, things were like thousands of dollars. But I also found this cute necklace, which is turquoise and it's silver. Just really, really good quality. The middle piece reminds me of my septum, which I took out, but I just think it's gorgeous. And I can't wait to rock this and layer it. Oh yes, there was a lot of really amazing jewelry there. Last but certainly not least, I'm actually really excited about all of these pieces. These are from Honeybum, which is an ethical clothing company. They plant flowers for the bees every time they sell things. You can use my code Hitomi for 20% off and I'll have a link to them down below. And okay, this first piece I got so many compliments on and I have not washed it since I wore it and I did get a stain on it, I'm sorry. Um, there was a little sriracha action going on, but it's this white two-piece set and I'll have some pictures or videos of me wearing it on Instagram because, yeah, I just really, really love this look so, so much. These are really comfortable, really good quality. And this top, I can definitely see myself wearing with so many other things. Super, super into it. These are both size small. Thank you so much, Honey Bum. These are really, really amazing. And then I got another matching two-piece set, which isn't my typical style, but I wanted to try it. I like trying different things. Also, the most comfortable, softest thing that I've ever felt in my life. 
but it's these bottoms that are kind of like sweatpants style. They're tight and high-waisted, which is really, really cute. And then it comes with this matching off-the-shoulder top. And this is in a size small as well. So I have kind of a bigger bust, and I just wear this without a bra, and it works pretty well. I have to be careful when I lift my arms because this does like to slip up a little bit, so just a forewarning. But yes, I absolutely love that two-piece set. I think I might get it again in a different color. So I got this dress. Once again, something that I just didn't really own i don't have a little black dress very long i feel like it's it's sexy but it's also classy it's a very deep v and i like that once again don't have anything that's super i don't know like voluptuous in that way i got two tops this first one is you can wear it two different ways you can wear it this way with your boobs kind of showing and you have a little knot in the front or you can wear it this way with everything all covered up and it just looks like a normal shirt. This reminds me of something that they would have at Urban Outfitters. Staple piece to have and I've just been wearing it casually when I go into work. Yeah, it's just really versatile and simple and easy. The next top is a bit more out there, a bit more edgy, a bit more exciting and it's this star top. It's very see-through. It is gorgeous. It has this little mock neck turtleneck. It is so so rad. I love wearing this with my maroon bralette underneath and some heels or some high-waisted loose trousers. This is like witchy but also edgy and fashionable. My ideal piece of clothing and I'm obsessed. This might be like my favorite piece that I got from them. Actually no, this next thing comes to a tie with that. This denim jacket with this faux fur collar. I love this so so much i've never had a dark denim jacket it's definitely something i've been wearing a lot and i love wearing this with this bad boy it's just such a look so yes their site will be linked down below you can use my code hitomi for 20 percent off and that concludes my haul that's all i have for you today it's really really fun to dress up i really do think that every day no matter what we're wearing these are kind of costumes we're deciding how we want society to perceive us and how we perceive ourselves and it's really cool that we have the power to do that and that we can express ourselves it's so fun it's like one of the best things ever i just feel like i'm taking part in this beautiful form of art and expression every time that i'm getting dressed i'm just so grateful thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys very soon bye thinking of